Rip like a little falsetto, like a Sherry. That's really good. Sherry, baby. Sherry. Sherry, baby. And you go, oh, young oh. girl, get out of my heart. What's that one? Don't go breaking my heart. Welcome to American Idol. American Idol this year was a joke. Well, th- because. It's been a joke for the past 10 years. But this year, because of Corona, everybody had to do it at their homes from Wait, their homes. Wait, really? Yes. Oh my God, just skip the season. Yes. But, Wait. But can oh. you throw out the whole season? <laughs> can you imagine just being on American Idol? You get on American Idol, but now you have to spend the entire process in your own house, like with your mom and your dad and your siblings, everybody around there, you there's constantly. There's no like, the excitement, like, you're going to LA. There's, and yeah. there's, like, there's, right. and the experience you're is completely gone. Experience is completely gone. Yeah, like, but you're, there's the nothing. It, it, what's funny is like they, they film the certain scenes in uh, different parts of their house, but you can tell like whose oh house was not working because they were like, let's <laughs> choose the garage. Oh, no. <laughs> like, oh. one guy had a Christmas tree. Uh, in his room like that was like his only decoration was a christmas tree but it wasn't christmas <laughs> aren't they bringing sports back too but there's no audience I there's heard. no crowd. Um, yes like just uh like ufc like UFC, the last fight yeah right. there was nobody there but it's so weird because you could hear every punch in the, oh, in the thing. it's weird. crazy so there's nobody screaming every time like someone gets a knockout it's completely silent like That's the so energy bizarre. is just completely gone but it's it's very interesting to watch because you can hear the you could hear the pain. It's intimate. You could hear the That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. That's but oh uh, baby, let's roll this intro, baby. Let's it's get it. Coffee talk a bitch. I'm ready to dance, but Welcome back to, to Views Unfiltered. Oh shit, my bad. It's been a while. We don't we don't know which one we're on. <laughs> I just did their podcast the other day, so I got a little confused. You know, I'm on Views now. Uh, okay. okay, he leaves us. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in. As always, we really appreciate it. Hope you guys are doing well out there. And uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm Zane, and I'm Heath. I'm Mariah. I'm Matt. <laughs> You guys think it's so cute They're every so time quirky. you flop it. People are like, they never notice when they mess it up. It's like, no, baby, we notice. <laughs> comedy is gold. Now that's comedy. <laughs> Welcome now, back to Now That's Comedy 5. What is that? Uh, now, now that's th- what I call comedy 5. What, what was that? <laughs> now that's epic. What oh, the, uh, what is it? It's uh, This is epic. Oh, oh, oh. now this is, is epic. epic. <laughs> I love that audio. How many... Now that's what I call music. How many are there? I have number five as a CD. Really? I have. The I never got. One. Oh, I had the first one I ever got was now two, and then wow. I had now historical. I had up until six or eight. Wow. Yeah. I think they're up to like fifty or something. Now right? that's what I call music. I'm looking at a sixty-two right now. What? Seventy-three. <gasps> what? One o three. 104 it keeps going man now that's what i call music do people still buy that there's no way people have ipods and like iPhones. Yeah, i they bet they have it? a playlist though no, oh. that's what to I be call completely it. honest I, I lost track of the conversation so there was a point like I, I blacked out for like 20 seconds and you guys were talking about something i was just like oh um, my god you I, trying I, to figure it out I'm on, now that's what i call it. music's website and you know their shit's delayed because look at look at what's on their home page look at the top picture what katie perry's roar it's miley cyrus <laughs> and billy ray cyrus like but like but, from 15 years ago. <laughs> oh, no. That's bad. Now oh that's God. epic. Now that's epic. Matt, I've been dying to ask you. So I saw on Zane's stories you got the LASIK surgery. Yes, I did. I finally got it. And it was... How was the procedure? Like, was it what you expected? How, how did it go? Um. Yeah, it was what I expected. I heard that it was painless. I heard that it was really quick. And I heard that it's a really quick recovery time. Um. So... I dis- there's like different types of LASIK. There's um there's like bladeless LASIK. There's bladed LASIK. Then there's like uh, another type of LASIK where they basically open up your eye and put in your contact lens. Oh and then no! no! Shut no, no, it no, no. and then that like sew weird. it up, and so you have a contact lens basically Why would you embedded that in that. One? And then there's another one called Smile, which is for like. Uh, UFC fighters or athletes, like people who are more prone to having a lot of interactions with oh, their face. Man. I decided to do the bladed one because it was cheaper <laughs> or the cheapest. Nothing like getting a, a bargain deal on your I eye would, surgery. I, the things I would never want to go to, like the cheap route when it comes to my eyes. Like I would want to pay top dollar yep. just so. 
Because you know, you, you 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 pay for cheap, you get cheap. Right, that's it's some like, shit you want to go name brand. Well, this yeah. guy was number one on Yelp, so I <laughs> trusted him. I, no, I, I understand that, but like the cheapest like so explain what the cheapest route is for you like what was like what did that what did you not get by doing the cheap route by having a bladed operation instead of a bladeless one bladeless would be just zapping over top of your they're able to like get into your eye without actually cutting it and it so what happens when you get uh lasik is they have this little tiny like deli slicer type thing they put it on your oh, eye fuck. they do the whole like clockwork orange are you watching like, this happen like, like, you've watched yeah i watched it i mean happen. it was like the clockwork orange i saw your they, eye open there was like this scanner thing that went over your eyes i'm gl- guessing that's the blades that was the blade so they like kind of like suck on your eye oh and they slide it over gosh. and that cuts like a tiny little flap and they take that off and then open up the yeah, flap I with saw like tweezers what? and then they zap a whole in bunch of light world. into your eye and are able to settle out your cornea and your retina to where you don't have the uh, um, I don't know the uh, uh, spot things just your the vision your clarity is just completely back to wow. normal the freaky thing is, is like first thing I was scared was like an earthquake was gonna happen, like right. like right when it, I was under like getting cut that like it was gonna shake. We around. can't stop the machine. Well, you, well, you've seen you've seen Final Destination. What was it? Yes. Five, right? Yes. There's a scene. Well, it's gonna. I'm telling you now because you already did it. But there's a scene in the movie where she's getting her eye. She's getting LASIK, and she did the laser one, not the blade one. And <laughs> the there's the, uh, like the drink got into the machine or something. Something happened where it got wet and the temperature started going up. It was burning And the her. laser was ended up burning. It was burning her eyeball and she couldn't move. She was just like, ah! And then oh, like, God! It, it was bad. But, like, I can tell you that now because you got it already. Yeah. But it's, it, it was like a crazy scene. Are you knocked scene. out? Um, no. no. Well, they give you a little uh, Valium before you go in. Because so- if I see something coming... Like that would freak me out. The the worst thing was it's not them messing up, but thinking I messed up because you're supposed right, to stare like, up away. at this green light and just stare at it. But there's a moment for like two or three seconds where it goes dark, and your eye you want to keep it still, but you're you want to like you figure out where, where is the right. center of your oh. eye. I don't think I could trust myself. And, and Matt kept saying that he felt like he kept fucking up because he would look somewhere else. But when I was watching the screen, he would look. While the procedure was happening, and then as soon as the the blade went over, then his eye would move. So I think the way they set it up is that like if you do end up moving, it just happens. It cuts as it soon off. As they yes. get what they need How to get done. How long is the procedure? Um, it took what fifteen minutes. Oh, that's from it? from the time <laughs> Guys, I laid so down on, from the time oh I laid down gosh. on the, yeah from the time I laid down on the table and got up. That was fifteen minutes. But the moment of like the cutting and that that was four minutes. And I'm like picturing, you know, the video where they like, uh, they sew the grape skin back. Yeah. You know what I mean? like, that's, that's what that's I'm picturing. A, like, your eye just oh, being yeah. like, even I was able to get up and like blink and move around. That still made no sense in my head. Cause I was like, how did you just cut into my eye? And how yeah. is that flap? Like, not how does your eye look up? normal? Like normal well, right now. Your eye is apparently like your fastest healing organ out of anything. Huh. Your eye, if it has a tear or a cut, it heals the fastest. And by the time I like got up and I looked around, I realized I didn't have my glasses on. I didn't have my contacts in. I could already see so much clearer. So you're 2020, oh, like your gosh. vision is perfect. Uh, Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the, it's permanent? the it, w- it wears off after time. Like probably when I'm a dad, I uh, will maybe need to have some glasses to see my kid's ballet recital. Like, <laughs> He's so specific. <laughs> That's I think. Not actually, I would, I'd I, claim that you're blind again once that shit up. <laughs> but could you now go get a touch up? I think so. But he said, you know, nothing lasts forever, and your eyes do get old. So don't expect that you, you know, you may need readers wow. and that. But the thing is, is that you don't need your contacts or glasses anymore. And That's, it's. I want to do it. I say go for it. It was the best money I ever spent. How, truly, I want to do it. Who sat there? And came up with this idea. Like how? Like how are they able to just who go into your eye dummy? and just who was the guinea yeah. pig? And just somebody had to have been the first. Yeah, who volunteered? It, it probably did not my, go well. My uncle got LASIK. I think twenty something years ago. And I'm like, that's got to be a big difference in technology from then. Like, when I went to the doctor and he was explaining it to me, he goes, "Now, obviously." Anytime they're going to say now is the best time to get LASIK with the technology that they have. But he goes, the progress that they've made over the past 10 years, like a lot of people who got LASIK a long time ago, like suffer severe dryness and irritation. Oh, yeah. It's, but he said, this is 
the most reliable. That's crazy. Uh, it sense. feels like I live in like a Harry Potter world and somebody just like cast a spell and was like bippity boppity boo. Now you can see again. Uh, I is it is it that. weird? Like, are, are you like waking up in the morning being like, I got to put my contacts. Wait, no, wait, I got to take them out. I feel night. like that when I go to bed because I can see so clearly and I'm not used to that. I can see the TV wow. and I don't have my glasses on. The biggest things I'm dealing with right now and these are normal symptoms are dryness and light sensitivity so how, like around, how are these right now you uh, okay? this isn't bad because the light we have is like a bunch of like dots and it's very pixelated but at night every light source has like a halo around it it oh, almost okay. feels oh. like i'm like tripping out on like some drug mm. but it is it, that gonna clear up like yes they told me that it uh that these like for the first week you have this weird That's light so sensitivity. crazy recovery time is much faster than i thought honestly like for something like your eye like i just feel like it'd be everything would be so blinding for such a long yeah, time like once i'm just eyeball. thinking about when you get them like dilated you got to wear those like the the roll out uh, yeah. glasses yeah. where you gotta like strap them on yeah uh-huh. and the uh woman when i went in the next day after she said we can hardly tell that we even did the procedure because your eyes have healed so well so wow Oh, uh, of course. I don't of, of course, his heal quicker than everybody else. Right. Uh, the fact that you're able to get it in 15 minutes and like, how much did it cost for you to get it? Um, it was 13.50 an eye, and that's a Corona special. I is <gasps> is it is it expensive? Did you say me, a cornea special? A Corona special. <laughs> cornea, a cornea, <laughs> Corona special. I to me that seems oh cheap. For, yeah. for to get perfect vision it's, again, right. I feel like everybody yeah. should save up for that instead of going to Coachella. I think about get some new eyes. What, eyes. I, exactly. what I spend on glasses, glasses are like five hundred bucks, dude. I or, just, or even uh, contacts are. I get the two for ninety nine. You one eight hundred contacts. <laughs> <laughs> she she got that that good good insurance. Yeah. I j- the the moment I realized I wanted to get it was after I bought my yearly pack of contacts and I spent three hundred dollars. It's a that, lot. And, how much and are I, yours? And I did the math in my head and I and I thought there's n- if I spend this much for the rest of my life it's gonna add up to what I can uh-huh. get for LASIK. So right now I spent three hundred dollars on contacts that I don't need that I need to pick up. But send, send them bitches this way. Yeah, what's your, what's what's your, your, yeah, uh, what's your numbers? Negative 375. Ooh. I'm 375 in one eye. I'm 425 in the other. Okay, so you can just use half of them. I'm 100. I'm she, 100, she 100 wears, on each She only wears one contact. <laughs> 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 I remember one time I had I got blue contacts. Well, I already have blue eyes, but I had blue enhancing ones when I was in high school. <laughs> and that I thought bitch. I was so cool. But the person Man. who gave it to me made... Like gave me the wrong shape of my eyes, so they were a little big. So if I move, if I move my they eyes really fast, out. you would see this like blue like part slip over, so and I'll never forget this girl, Maddie Yance, was like, "Oh, call her out." She was like, "You, you, you got blue colored contacts," and I was like, "How did you know?" She goes, "You, I could see like it's this blue slipping? part drifting in your eye," and I got so embarrassed, and everybody was talking about After it. After wearing those contacts for the Dark Knight costume that I did for a YouTube video, I, I, I don't know how people do it. Well, like, like no, like my contacts aren't as bad as those. Like those are like really hard. Like they're thick. Contacts. Yeah, they're yeah. thick. Normal contacts are super thin and you don't feel them. Huh. I wonder if the LASIK will fix macular degeneration. Do you have macular degeneration? My, it's in my fan. My grandparents have it. What my, my, my grandpa. The only way I can like describe it, the way he sees, like he has no sight in the middle of his eye. Mm-hmm. He only has like a peripheral. So imagine if, like, looking at you, I can't see you, but I could see, like, kind of what this looks like over in this area. I feel like a lot of animals see like that. Don't sharks see like that, where they see everywhere but the middle, like, but the center? That's oh, why I, like, I when think shark- that's because they got their big nose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, they're Probably because like, their eyes are on the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sharks have macular dude. <laughs> no, but it's a, it's a really weird thing. But he still rides his motorcycle. Like, he... Legally blind, but he out there. <laughs> he driving like this. Uh, he said, "Wow, hogs." You know, like this, went, ah. <laughs> you know, contacts used to be like glass. basically like glass. Yes, my, my mom grandma. had. She said her contacts now they're like silicon jelly, but it used to be like a hard glass. piece of like plastic. a monocle in there, like underneath their. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine just being pissed at someone, and just going, like right on their fucking face. Like would that shatter? Like what kind of, what kind of glass was it? Like uh, that. I, oh, I don't like know. Very... My grandma just said glass. She was like, my contacts were glass. I was like, huh? What? That's that makes so no crazy. sense. Yeah. Have you had any surgeries? Um, besides your... Except for my... No, I would say my hair, plug, hair plugs were like, was like the first surgery. Surg- like surgery as in like cosmetic, right? Like what's... Or... Any surgery. Yeah. Going like, under. Like uh, doing my wisdom teeth. Oh, wait, yeah. Root canal. I've had eight surgeries. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've had eight teeth surgery. Root canal is a procedure. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. say it's a surgery. It, the, the thing, if there's a knife that cuts through skin, it's considered surgery. So root canal, root canals are surgeries. It's a drilling. But cu- they're cutting into your skin. That's considered a surgery. I guess it is. Oh, did speaking you have, of oh, yeah. um, teeth surgery, my buddy Austin, I just found out when I went home, he got um, veneers across the front. How does he look? It looks amazing. Yeah, he looks good. So they like uh, filed like, his yeah, teeth he, down he into good. the pegs and he showed me what it looked like. And it it's the scariest thing, but his teeth are amazing. It completely changed his face. So does, <sighs> are those permanently in or yeah. can you like take them out? But in 15 years or 20 years, you have to get them replaced. I'm pretty sure they don't last. Forever. Yeah. God, that's so scary. Like just dri- like just shaving your fucking only teeth. Like down. that's a commitment. Like that's it. You're not going yeah. back to having teeth again. Oh my God. I mean, I can see myself definitely doing that because my teeth I just get veneers. yellower every fucking <laughs> week. Every week I'm just smiling in the mirror. I'm just like, oh my God, it just looks like butter. And it's only gonna get worse. Like you when should, I'm 35. You should do that TikTok, the the yellow, the yellow test. You know what I'm talking what's about? The, oh, oh, what's the yellow it, test? It, it, it's a you take like a video of somebody, but you can set your camera to only show the color yellow. So if it would be black and white on you, but if you smile, like your teeth would be yellow, or anything that you're wearing is yellow. Like yeah. When I smile next to people, anybody, literally anybody, you just see how yellow my teeth are. But then when I'm by myself, people are like, "Oh, you have really good teeth." And I'm just like, thank you for the compliment. It's not, isn't they're not good. You take it, you put it in your pocket, and you run with it. Like I used to put condensed milk in my mouth before I went to bed, like uh, when I was a kid. Like literally, I would just let it sit in my mouth. So that's is that because that you were a, a chunky little kid and you oh. wanted to eat some condensed milk, or were you trying to fix your teeth? No, uh, fix my teeth. What do you mean fix my teeth? Like whiten them. No, no, the condensed milk is like yellow. Oh, I thought you were saying that you were doing oh, it to try to whiten your yeah. smile. Oh, no, no, no. You were, you were like, he it's was, filled that's with sugar. sugar. It's oh, sh- I was like, literally, that's probably oh, 100% why. sugar. And it's just funny. sitting in my mouth every night. Because I would do it like every night when I lived in Lebanon. Because they had some good ass condensed milk. Ooh. Okay, I see you. And baby, you get so good look. <laughs> that shit lasted. Shiny teeth and me. Shiny teeth that sparkle. Them butter <laughs> teeth that. <laughs> <laughs> the butter teeth that sparkles. Did you have a surgery? Um, I just had my wisdom teeth out. Oh, too. I had I a heart. Know. I had a heart ablation. What's up? What's up? Are you what? okay? Um, uh, a heart ablation. I had basically an arrhythmia problem when I was uh in high school. It's called What's arrhythmia. Bull- I'm so bad. Arrhythmia is the, <laughs> arrhythmia is the beating of your heart. Okay. And I, when I was younger, I would go to these speech and debate tournaments, and I'd perform for like big audiences. And I remember my heart would just be accelerating so fast, but for like two or three minutes uh after i would perform so it was way too long and i was in rapid arrhythmia so i got diagnosed with wolf parkinson white syndrome and that meant there was a hole hey, in my kind of badass, yeah, though. wolf parkinson wpw and there was a hole in my uh electrical circuit of my heart so they had to do an ablation where they put me under and they go through the arteries in your legs with this like little um i don't get I, how they can yeah. do this and they shit. burn they go in through the artery of my leg then up to my heart and then burn this little hole that turns it into scar tissue that then centers out the circulation in my uh yo heart doctors electrical. are on some yeah. surgeons are on some other shit and argent like the kids right now they're gonna become doctors thank you so much because i feel like it's gonna get to the point where like I feel like kids just don't want to be like doctors because they'd right. rather be something else. I want to be like David Dobrik. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. There's like studies where like uh, they'll ask a classroom, what do you want to be? And what is it? 50% Everybody. of the kids, six percent are, they want to be YouTubers. Wow. And I, you know, you can't blame them because like YouTubers, they, because everything on the internet, I feel like is just so fake when it comes to like, they, yep. uh, uh, especially a lot of the YouTubers that show off their money a lot. It's like you think that that's what it is all the time. It's so, also it's also putting this in people's heads. That that's what you need to be happy to be successful to yeah have that image of a, a lifestyle. And it's not guaranteed. Yeah. You can't oh. guarantee that you will have a following or anything. Yep. Baby, our guarantee was David Dober. Thank you, David Dober. <laughs> <laughs> we give credit where credit credit is due. <laughs> but kids in the eighties, what were their top one to be professional? Astronauts. Astronauts. Oh, I literally put on like when I, I got every time I got asked as a kid, I'd put astronaut. <laughs> Zane yeah. is an astronaut. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd be like, uh, uh, Houston, we got a lot of problems. He's in there. He's just beep boop. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> just push him. No, they would be like, Dallas, we got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba, that was good. <laughs> the sh- you know how like when you go on the rocket ship and it like separates? I'm right. like in the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Zane would the- eat all the food. Like, <laughs> all the the ice cream astronaut food. Do you know the, the missile that just launched was SpaceX? Yes. Yeah. Spa- Ooh, we- and it's cr- it's crazy that they went out off to space right before like all this shit happened. I know. Perfect it's timing. Perfect Zane timing. and I were watching Too that perfect. countdown oh and we God. were at the edge of our seats because it was this scary. was, you know, at the peak during all the protests and everything. And corona. corona. Right. And I was thinking the nation needs this right now. Yeah. If this goes wrong, this will be just ruin the morale of yeah, our entire it just country like, it, like matt and i watching it we were our heart was beating my heart was beating so i don't even i don't know these guys i don't really right. care about space or anything like that but like just watching that i was just praying to god this would just go safely just like just because we need it we needed it at this moment i wonder how they're doing what i wonder how they're doing it's, up it's there cr- it's crazy that they're up there for months like you're in space for months have you ever seen you ever nuts. seen people that come back because they they need to like relearn how to walk again like Whoa. the recovery process. No, wait, what? Because the, where they they don't know how to walk again, they have to like recondition their muscles. They they're not like there's no weight. There's no, you just like are kind of I bouncing did. around, no it. gravity. But there's no point on space, like in space, like when you're like kind of just standing or you're just floating the whole fucking time. Like you're not using like your your muscles, your legs. You're not walking. You're not. I thought there would at least be. A, this might sound so stupid. I just thought there was a room where you could kind of just take a break from they your turn, gravity. Wait, it turns gravity mode. <laughs> gravity on. <laughs> <laughs> it just, just kind of like locks it in. You can like just be nor- like you could like uh, stand. You're I don't in space. Know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a. Th- there was that movie Rocket Man as a kid where they go to Mars. I that always that. messed yeah. with me because in the movie, yes. did, wasn't there a gravity mode? Like that they the, had. Baby, that's called a low budget, and you can't keep up the, the shit the whole movie. <laughs> uh, can you imagine how cutthroat it is trying to be an astronaut? Because only a certain few get selected not everybody can go to space yeah and it's your dream you've had your entire life to leave this earth but you don't make you have to be cut. mentally strong for it too yeah yes. and i feel like you have to be like i don't, I don't think they'll send you up there if you're not 100 percent confident about it either uh-huh. right. you, can't, you can't be like before the day before you're just like pr- they probably they probably watch out for people talking too they're probably like yeah i heard the astronaut there talking about he said, how, he, he said he was kind of l- nervous. nervous i feel like they really take that into consideration where they're just like what well, they said they were nervous because i feel like when you're nervous you're you just don't like you don't uh, perform like well. Oh, yeah. there have to be so many stress tests. Yeah. I went to college with a girl whose dad was an astronaut, and that like what it, that was title. crazy. So I, she was like, "Yeah, when I was a kid, we would have to like Facetime my dad in space. Like your dad is literally out of this world." Val. I got galaxy leggings because my pussy game is out of out this of this world. world. I bet the view is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no sh- you, you know what's crazy? I never see like selfies in space. Like, I don't see astronauts just like like With taking selfies Wi-Fi? up there. Are, are there routers up I there? I mean, you can take Wi-Fi? pictures. <laughs> That's a big thing though right now if you want to be an astronaut. I saw some TikTok of a girl who was like, if you want to be an astronaut, big thing is like make a lot of content because they want astronauts who are good at making content because when you're up there, you got to be sharing your Oh experience. my God, could you imagine a vlog from fucking outer space? Can you imagine TikTokers in space? How is it not <laughs> happening yet? Dumb on a cake with me. Dumb on a cake and... Speaking of uh, They're air, listening to the podcast travel. in a rocket. Uh, astronauts are laughing at us right now. <laughs> Do you think there's ever been astronauts have sex in space? Do you think that's happened before? Oh my god! I yeah. watched some weird special that about them trying How would you know? thing to about do up there. I saw some video on the internet of them trying to test it out if it was possible, and they made this suit that you basically like Velcro the other person together. That's where our tax-paying dollars is going. No, imagine it wasn't. Being, no, imagine kidding. being conceived in in space. Yeah, you couldn't. You could, well, getting conceived, I can see is possible, but I think you need to get down to Earth fast because I think the body <laughs> needs. <laughs> we gotta get down quick. My water just broke. Because I think the womb needs gravity. How can you be raised without a sense of gravity? <laughs> You know, <laughs> water just broke. Well, we're almost there. Two months away. <laughs> Two, <laughs> Two light years away. Yeah. Ooh. Awful. Ooh. Oh my! Imagine little baby astronaut suit. Oh my god, be so what, cute. Would you be a citizen of the United States? <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't. 
You wouldn't be a citizen of the the the, the Earth. <laughs> you would have... Literally the first alien ever born. <laughs> Literally, that's really crazy to think about. Literally the first wow. alien. Yeah. Are we like Because you're not born like, on this happening? planet. I know this is in our weed what podcast, we and we're already about? sounding like we're stoned out of our minds. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Can we? Re- I still want to think. I think we. I'm should still do down it. to try it. Oh, it uh, sure. Up. How do we get weed? <laughs> I just I just know that I'm gonna like <laughs> I don't even know how to buy it. You know we're all gonna sit there and have to watch that podcast and cut everything out. And it's gonna it's gonna be like a fifteen minute podcast. But I think we like it because it's very forgivable. We won't be on our A game, but everybody will like hearing how bad it was we like are. it was like our, our wasted podcast. Yeah, we did, the, the thing is where I'm, we ended up like crying and just having yeah, a nice little thing, I'm like I'm already like kind of dumb. So when I'm like high as shit, I'm just like extra fucking dumb. Like whatever we're talking about, I'm just gonna be like, yes, and uh, I just wouldn't be able to like form a sentence. Jo- yeah, I wouldn't be able to make sense with anything anything I say. But I which think I don't know. The worst would be being high and you guys don't know, and that type of paranoia. But if I'm in a safe environment where we all know we're high and we're telling everyone we're high, I think. It could work. D- should we do it and not like? Should we all be high one episode and not say anything? Oh my god, people don't know it's the high episode. <laughs> yeah, they'll just have to guess. Like the, all the comments, are they high? <laughs> what? I, the I think fuck? we should though, um, do it in the next. You few should things. hire a lookalike replacement for me for that week because I don't want it. <laughs> Mariah, I think you man. should just take a little, a little puff. No, Mariah, eat three edible gummies <laughs> and then we'll, we'll start that podcast. It's like a bad peer pressure commercial, but yeah, it's like a terrible. podcast. Just Even if your it. friends have a cast, still say no. <laughs> the thing is, that I want us to be sober in the beginning of it because I want I want people to watch us get kind of aggressively. Change. Yeah, <laughs> Mariah would forget to turn on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like, we'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> we still post it I think the best thing to do is probably eat edibles instead of smoke right <sighs> no edibles I'd but can't done. you just take a really small amount so you're not like, don't look edibles, at me I don't know but edibles have to like hit you and I don't want to be thinking hey. like oh has it hit yet and edibles do hit you like womp like womp. it's like you go from zero to hundred oh, I mean it's not like I've not ever done it before but you know what I mean it's just it gets crazy. Right. This shit gets a little weird. <laughs> um, I was going to tell you guys. So I just got back from Florida. Uh, I went to go visit my family for a week. I can't believe we broke up. I know. We were separated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you guys doing? You guys doing good? We're better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We just we're needed good. a break. We, yeah. We needed time. Of- <laughs> um, people are going to take that seriously. Do you guys see you anybody? Can't, you can't even joke about in it. Your, did you guys see anybody in your city? Do you like a little hall pass? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Keith. 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 <laughs> His name is Keith. I was going to say, uh, on my way back, I had the most weirdest experience I've ever had on an airplane. And obviously, like, their tensions are high due to corona. And it was just, uh, it was really weird. So we were almost back to L.A. And I had this sneeze attack. And when I have, like, uh, like the urge to sneeze, I end up sneezing, like... Five times. Four or five times. Because like, you're like, it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ew, and in your just mask too that's the worst keeps going um so obviously like i know people are like weird about that stuff right now because everybody's on edge but this lady a couple seats up ahead of me goes like this <laughs> gives me the dirtiest look and i'm just like i I had to sneeze. I'm sorry. I, I mean, you got the mask on your thing. You start rubbing your nose, and it just makes you sneeze. And, yeah. and, and sneezing is not even a symptom of the disease, I know. right? Okay, no. Yeah. So she goes and she's talking to the lady, lady across from her, and the steward, <laughs> and is like, "There's a disgusting man <laughs> on this plane," <laughs> and I'm hearing it, and I'm like, "She's not talking about me." <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like curious. I'm like trying to eavesdrop. I'm like, who are we talking about? Me? Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, get Disgusting. Pissed. And she starts turning back and looking at me. And I'm like, he's sneezing. He's a disgusting, sick man. And I'm like, oh my God, she's talking about me. But I've never had somebody say it to me like that. Like, and be that vocal about it. Like, right. normally you just somebody, keep that to yourself. Saying that, like, if, hearing somebody call me a disgusting man made me feel like. I, I can't I can't put it into words, but like normally be like, oh yeah, this is sick dude, sick kid over here, like what like right, but like it made me feel like, oh my god, <laughs> um, a, a sick man, like, it was just like, like you sound like a creep, right? And I was just like, yeah, let's get him. Wait, it's me. What <laughs> was she getting the entire cabin's attention? Was that yeah, creep? she was trying to cause a scene, just being obnoxious. Um, but then she's looking at the other lady, and this other lady stands up, and she's like, are you sick? I was like. 
No, like I, I sneezed. And then she started accusing the guy in front of me too. Like, you're sick. You got Corona. Because he sneezed, <laughs> oh right? Because he sneezed too. And then he's like, you want to check my fucking temperature? Like, no, I'm fine. Do you want to land? Do you want me to get <laughs> right. off? Let's cause a scene. And then she <laughs> keeps- A parachute? Just- a parachute just opens it up. <laughs> get out. Buckle up. We got to just- out. <laughs> She starts looking at me and I'm like, what? And then she goes like this, takes her phone out and she's just like- <laughs> Taking pictures? <laughs> Taking pictures of you. Taking pictures of me. I hope that reaches Twitter. I, I, really, I really do or, too. It'll be on Facebook. I literally was like this. <laughs> throwing up like a peace was, sign yeah she was trying to like like she went over top and was like and i was just like this <laughs> and she goes <laughs> matt when you press to cut this camera you tilted it and i'm on the edge of this frame oh shit. i just noticed it oh my god no, just right. just turn the camera i find it crazy that just people will harass people like that in public, like especially on a plane like that. Yeah, people it's are like, already scared being on yeah. a plane, so I mean, they yeah. want to like, find I, I something. Get, I get people are on edge, but like, but don't attack. Like I sneak because I, like I rub my nose. Uh, um, but speaking okay. of harassment, Mariah, you got harassed. I did. I did. Well, first of all, I was gonna say a quick plane thing on my plane ride here. It's like people that just. It's I hate to say it, but there are Karens. They're Karens. There was a Karen on the flight. And she was in a row that didn't have a window. It was just like, just the wall. And she made a big deal about it. Called over two of the stewardess, like just made a huge deal. Like, I, 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 I can't believe this is my second flight and there's no window. Like making a huge deal, freaking out. And then proceeded to tell them like, I mean, I could, I could sit here still. I just wanted to let you know. And we were all just like, why complain? Why people, waste people everybody's time? People just need time? something to. Yeah. Like, hey, Cindy, I, hey, Cindy, take a road trip. There, hey, why don't you drive? There's, take a hike. I'm always polite to strangers and everything. I, I, th- I like to think so. But there is nothing more than I love the rush of getting when you get on an airplane and you're, you know your seat number, you walk up, and someone is sitting in your seat. <laughs> oh, it's the I don't right. say anything. I, lo- I can't no. say anything. Wait, what, what do you mean? You have to say something. I just sit it's next to seat. them. No, I just sit next to them. Until One they time realize. I did it. And, no, no, no. Until somebody else says, uh, you're in the wrong seat. And I'm like, oh, I'm in this. Oh, we have to. S-. Like, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, I'm pretty confrontational. I love being like, 23D? 23D, like, that's my seat. How do you get a rush out of that, though? Because <laughs> so I know I have it. I, like I, a, I have a piece of paper, and receipts. I know where I need to be, and this is my but spot. And you're, that's a characteristic of a Karen, though. I feel like yeah. Karen's got a rush. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm not mean about it, but I just love knowing that I have proof and that Matt this is my has spot. has a power trip. I he always does. get the exit seat, the exit row, because I have a he lot likes of people. Oh, he's a hero. <laughs> Wait, what, what's the but male version always... of Karen? What's like a good name? Matt. Uh, <laughs> no, not Matt. <laughs> I'm not uh, Matt. Darren. <laughs> Darren. <laughs> There's Darren, Darren. and Karens. <laughs> Darren and Karens. <laughs> I'm not that, but I just... I get real. I get a rush out of it. But what happened with you getting harassed, though? Oh yeah, I'll try to make it short. God, I just don't like thinking about it. No, oh, get um, to it. Okay, so, um, I had a layover in Michigan, right? What On part? Saturday, I was. Detroit, the Kalamazoo, airport. the airport, <laughs> wherever, in- the airport, Michigan. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, I flew from Allentown, Pennsylvania, to Michigan. And the flight was delayed in Allentown, so I missed my flight going from Michigan to LAX. So I was like, cool, I'll just hop on the next one, whatever. And the next one happened to be this morning because the flight was last night. So I was like, all right. So it was held trying to get to the hotel that they like. They gave me a voucher for the hotel room, whatever. I was like, oh, very nice. I go to the hotel. (laughs) And um, it took me like five hours to get a shuttle to the hotel, by the way, because nobody... It gave me the right information, the right phone number. Nobody gave me anything correct. So I was already like on edge. I was by myself oh. in a strange city and I just was already panicking. And then I get to the hotel and I was like just relieved that I get a room and I'm at the front desk and there's this guy sitting in the lobby. Just you could tell he was either on something or just drunk, just intoxicated. He you already starts- knew what you were going to call him if you guys got into a verbal argument. No. Right, right. <laughs> the glare in your eye. Uh, to be clear, let's be clear. I look at He's everybody like, every time I'm in the room. I'm like, just in case I get into a verbal argument, I know what to I call. I know him. what you are. I know what you are. <laughs> okay, Rudolph. <laughs> Don't Rudolph. They mean it. Come on, they didn't mean it. <laughs> What's with Rudolph? The the Wait, last episode, the, the his last pimple. Episode, the pimple. Oh, oh yeah, he's calling you Rudolph. I guess. The guy starts complimenting like my. I was literally wearing sweats. Like I wasn't dressed up, obviously. He was complimenting my outfit, and then he was like, 
oh wow you just keep surprising me oh, you're wearing my. chucks just being weird and then he's like what? and those earrings you just keep surprising me with this style he's like, what is he a fucking like a fuck boy too at the same time <laughs> yeah, like, girl just you weird keep, ooh, the back of your head is you're ridiculous, ridiculous. <laughs> i'm saying like thank you because like that sh- i'm just like oh thank you like thank you and then i look up and the um the shuttle bus driver was behind him and he's sick he's like this to me and i'm like Okay. So then I start like shaking. I don't know why. I just get so nervous. So the guy is um, giving me my room key. He's signing me in. And the guy is like walking closer to me. It's just me and him. It's he's in the lobby. I'm getting checked into my room. And I'm like, how am I going to go up to my room by myself? Like, how am I going to do this? So then they start threatening the guy. Like, you need to sit down. Like, you can't talk to our guests this way. They said they can't really do much because he's staying at the hotel. He's actually a guest. He's not like. But then he started going, how wait, much for the fucking night? Wait, <gasps> I'm getting there. Oh, hey. Yeah. So he, Sorry. This is Mariah's I'm, truth. I'm pissed I'm, off. This is Mariah's okay. truth. I am, I am hurt and yeah. offended for her. So he got up and he goes. How much for the night? What? It's like, you just, <laughs> <laughs> just heard it for the first I just time. I give you the reaction. And I start immediately tearing up. <laughs> I was just so scared. And the kid were, uh, helping me out, he was like a younger guy, but like I felt so safe like with him because he kept like calling him out. He was calling so security. So you felt safe with it. <laughs> <laughs> I felt safe. So then. Um, he comforted. Then he hands me my room key and the guy standing right next to me looking over my shoulder and I grab the room key so he like can't see the number and he goes, what room are we staying in tonight? Oh oh my God. I was like, oh my God. And I look at the guy and there's tears in my eyes and I'm trying to be brave and not show any fear. (laughs) And there's tears in my eyes and then he grabs another employee to walk me up to the room. And so uh, they put me on the top floor, like way far away. And then... um, they just said, anytime I need something, just call them and they're going to bring it up to me. And they just told me not to leave my room. I'd be like, tuck me in. <laughs> I, I just, that, I can't believe that there's still, there's like men out there. It's disgusting. That, that are still like that. Like, I, I thought there was a point where they just stopped being like that. Creepy. Creepy. Fucked up. It was really gross and scary. Oh, I'm sorry. You had to, you had to go through uh, yeah. that. That's actually like, really like if I, like if I was like a girl, like in a lobby like that, I would, awful. Yeah. I would not feel good. I was terrified. Yeah. It was fucking crazy. I'm here now. So, and I should we, should we have him it. on the podcast for next episode? Yeah, I got his Call number. Call his ass out. <laughs> so, Imagine. you should have filmed it. Or, I was <laughs> actually no. It's terrible. <laughs> Matt, he goes. Oh, you felt we're gonna. Oh, we, get, oh, we, oh we're making a oh. movie. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes, those, that's those, exactly those, what he was like. Those TikToks though, where girls put their phone in their back pocket and oh my god, god. It's it's fucking nuts. It's, Wait, there is one where a girl is crying and i was like oh my gosh what happened and she said i did the thing where i put my phone in my back pocket looked. and nobody looked at my ass <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny no there there, yeah. there was this one tiktok that i saw where a, um it was like on a on a store camera and there was this older dude and like it looked like a claire's or something it was just a lot of little girls everywhere and oh weird it was just crazy. This 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 guy just taking like his phone and doing this under a girl's like oh, under her skirt, oh and the and flash God. goes off. I, I I I think what I'm amazed about is the um when friends or people start to notice and what they do because a lot of people they ignore it. They like they they they're in shock and then they kind of just don't do anything about it. They're like, and, did I think that happened? Did it happen? Yeah, right. But you see the and process what, of her yeah. friend witnessing this happen. She's standing there and yeah. this guy whips out his phone. Put, puts it under this girl's skirt and the flash goes off. But her friend's standing there and kind of like sees the moment in front of her. And then the and guy then like, like walks out. The and then she has this whole moment looking at her friends and recalling it's like a, the situation and then goes right up to the manager and starts. It's like a, tw- it's like a 20 second moment where she's just like realizing it, realizing and then she looks at the guy and it's like, you see her eyes get bigger and then she's just like, wait a second. Is it like, uh, I think just seeing that reaction is just like, if you see you're something, not, say something. I think it's, I think it's mainly just like, you can't believe that just happened. Right. And you're, you're in your mind, you're making sure that that's what you saw before you accuse or do like, something about it. Yeah. Is that it's, one show real? Like what would you, or what would you do? Is that what it's? Uh, yeah. Or yeah, what would you do? Is that what where the guys where like, they test people's like morals and values? Yeah, and shit they like, like that. stage these arguments or these questionable things right. to see what Who would, would say you something. Do. Yeah, I don't. There's something about those videos that doesn't sit right with me when I watch that. Like there's videos like um there they made a video of like someone ripping a, a scarf off a woman, <gasps> and obviously the girl wasn't like in a Muslim. scarf like she's not Muslim, but he rips off the scarf and runs away, and they see what people do. But I don't know. I why do I like? I feel like just. 
reenacting that moment just for a YouTube video, like yes, it's so right. weird. So it's distasteful. The, it wait, really that is. show did that as a bit? No, no, it wasn't a show. It was a YouTube video. Uh, oh, it was like a okay. YouTuber doing it, and I, I'm pretty sure he may have been Arab. Yeah, that's really distasteful. But like, yeah, there's just something about it. Because just, even like, if that person isn't Arab, but like <clears throat> what you're suggesting yeah. you're doing and staging it just for <clears throat> reaction purposes, yeah. isn't. Mm-mm. The best, yeah, it's crazy. Because you already know that you already know what the reactions are going to be. Half the people are going to probably be do something about it, and the other half are not going to do anything about it. That's like every video, like every video. I like would that. have loved to have been a kid though on To Catch a Predator. <laughs> oh my god! Like no, being being like the oh, bait the, when they come in oh, and just being oh, like, "Hey, I'm just in the house. So I'll be right out. I'm gonna yeah. go get ready." And then knowing the guy's about to get fucked. Oh. That I know, but it's just it's just funny because obviously the kids are safe. They have a whole crew right, police right. team, yeah. and they're there just to act to bait them in. Oof. That's crazy. Before we continue, this episode is brought to you by Liquid IV. If you don't know what it is, it's an easy, healthy solution to dehydration. If you're dehydrated, try Liquid IV. It's really the most, it's the fastest and most efficient way to stay hydrated. It actually has more vitamin C than an orange and as much potassium as a banana. Which is great because proper hydration is crucial for your immune system and can boost your immunity. Mm-hmm. And Zane knows all about needing to boost immunity and hydration after his drink. Yep. Ain't that and I'm right? actually, I actually want to tell you my my experience with liquid IV. Oh liquid no, he, IV he's is my talked favorite. about this for for so long before we we even got sponsored. By yeah, them. and I, I love being sponsored by companies that like I'm just obsessed with. So I'm really excited about this one. I I literally drink. I'll drink like two, like one or two uh, bottles of uh, liquid IV. Right before like I before I like start drinking for the night, and then then I'll drink like a bottle after, and by the next day. I have no hangover. Really, it's crazy, and, and like it's com- it's it's completely healthy for you. It's it's, right, it's got all the vitamins you need. I'm actually gonna try it myself tonight after this podcast and see how it works for me. It's I, I honestly feel like it's better than any other hydration supplement. Yeah, I That's drink so cool. this every time I feel like I like I, I need I just need to be hydrated. Right, yeah. and believe it or not, dehydration occurs daily in three out of four people, which leads to daily headaches, dizziness, muscle fatigue, brain fog, mm-hmm. much more. And one serving of liquid IV provides as much hydration as two to three bottles of water alone. And I would know because I do that every day. Mm-hmm. It's literally healthier than any of those like sugary sports drinks. It's yep. no preservatives, no no added sugars. It's actually less sugar than an apple that's impressive yeah and what makes liquid iv so effective baby ctt cellular transport technology and that's on science baby <laughs> liquid iv is available nationwide at target whole foods and costco or you could get 25 percent off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code unfiltered that's 25 percent off anything when you go on the site and use our code unfiltered mm-hmm, baby do it you won't regret it get better hydration today at liquidiv.com and use code unfiltered code unfiltered code unfiltered thank you liquid iv i love you so i i, I- so Addison came over one night and we were, um, it, it was just like a chill night. We we're just hanging, hanging out and, um, and Mariah and Addison start like fake slapping each other yeah. and they're doing it really good. Oh, you were there. You, yeah. were, we you were both pra- were there. What we the fuck? I, I started it. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot you both were there. We were practicing. Yeah. So they're just, they're fake slapping each other. They're doing a really good job at it. So I pulled out my camera and I'm filming it and then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to set it up where it's like. Like, to, make, to make it look real. It, it look was real. the best video it, ever done. It, it was just really funny. But obviously, I made sure, like, in the caption, I said that, like, these two kept fake slapping each other the whole night. Because, right. you know, I don't want to be the person that makes it look, like, fucking real. Right. Of and, course. And and it's <laughs> <laughs> and of course and or in the video Addison slaps Mariah first and then Mariah slaps her after like face slaps and she, Mariah just starts getting death threats for slapping Addison and Addison slapped her first. W- what is a death threat like? <clears throat> I, I always hear about you're getting death threats. You slap but, Addison, I'll kill you. Oh, that's the death threat. That's, I always that's thought what it the is. death threat was like more detailed. Well, like, like, I, like, I'm just like, I'm no, kind of exaggerating. More about how yeah. they're going to do it? Yes. It is, but I'm, I'm exaggerating. No, there's, I, mean, I mean, I feel like there's certain, like, there's been certain friends uh, that of ours that have, like, shown me tweets of, like, people being really scary. Just like, you better watch what? out tonight. Yeah. It's so fucked up. Yeah. Those, those like, are, like, legit, those are really dangerous, though. Yeah. And it's like, people, like, fuck around, like, people can fuck around and send tweets like that, but, like, you don't understand, like, how serious yeah. people take that shit. I th- th- yeah, the I, th- I think they're just TikTok <laughs> stands of Addison that are just like yeah right you slapped her i'm gonna cut you bitch but i just can't i can't believe you made it so clear that it was fake plus at the end of the video we're both laughing yeah and all my comments were about the like are you why would you lay a hand on her why would you touch her i'm like 
So I changed my bio to hear from the slapping As video. you should. As you should. Accountability. I said, she's, she hit me first. That was one thing. I wish I was a good actor. Like, I wish I could act. But, like, that's just, uh, just not, like, I'm just so bad at it. It's a tough one. Because I'm constantly, like, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm trying to act in something, I'm constantly reminding myself that, like, oh, I'm, I, I gotta I act. Acting. And, like, the, the, I, the rule, the, I feel like the first rule, I was actually watching a Robin Williams documentary, which is amazing, by the way. Yes, Guys, so I highly good. recommend watching Robin I, Williams. I haven't seen it. Come inside my it mind. Yeah, it's on it, HBO. It's so Aww. good. He, it's such a sad documentary, too. So, like, be prepared to, like, just be. But you'll laugh. Really you'll cry. Yeah. It's, but he 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 said this line, and I forget. I wish I had the the quote. But like he, Robin Williams says, when you're acting, you gotta literally don't even think about that you're acting or working. Just like you are, you put yourself. You are in, in the scene. Right. Just do nothing. And do then nothing. Yeah. That's where you start. Like when the moment you think about doing acting. That's yeah. I remember it. looking at Todd. And I was just like, damn. That's what we. That's what you gotta do, man. Deep, oh, have you guys seen that TikTok trend where it's like, who's the most famous person from your high school and people yeah. share about it? Me and he. <laughs> Literally, you guys. Uh, no, I, li I don't think we are, though. No, we're definitely not. No, there's been so many, like, uh, athletes. We've had, we've had, I think, at least three or four that I know of. And a lot of them actually lived uh, in NFL our neighborhood. professional athletes. Yeah, yeah, on my high school's wicked. Wow, you guys have a, ha a lot of... Uh, For South Plant? Uh, for South Plantation. Oh, hold on. How do you how do you even know? I just, just went on the Wikipedia. Alumni. I'm oh. on uh, my high school's Wikipedia, but I'm not on the notable alumni section. Who who's class president? Who's, Are we who's on? on who's on South? Uh, you guys have Robbie Anderson, NFL wide receiver for the Carolina. Yeah, hold Carolina. on, Robbie Anderson. That's Gabe's best friend. Yeah, he's uh, like he he's for, like he plays for the Jets. Oh shit, that's sick. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you have an MLB player, Richard Blyer. I don't think I know. Uh, uh, Colin Cole, Alex Collins, uh, all of them. Yep. Uh, oh, there's Wayne Fetterman, comedian, film, oh, and yeah. television actor from my, X Files. My, my mom went to high school with him. Wow. Oh, wow. That's went to so NYU. Uh, so, and, there's nobody else on there? Um, Andrew the Maine. list has to go on, right? <laughs> like a, a Shark Week guy, a Broadway actor, Buccaneers player, uh, Rico Ross. That's so cool to think about. Yeah. Yeah. Got like famous right. in some way. Three professional sports players, but Vanilla Ice is from my hometown, and he's the most famous person from my town. From oh, my cool. town, Dwayne Johnson went to like our rival school. Really? Oh, that's, that's so sick. crazy. The, Dwayne Johnson about the rock like that. and um, Amanda Seif Seyfried or whatever. Amanda Seyfried, yeah. Too. Yeah, she's from my town too. But how? Wait, you have a lot of famous alumni from your high school though, right? Yeah, we have the director of Despicable Me. Um, one of the founders of Vine, uh, Jason Toff, is that his name? Oh, weird. Name. Interesting. Um, well, thank you, Jason. <laughs> thank you, Jason. I have Michaela Conlin. She's in Bones. She sounds familiar. She's yeah. In, oh, yes. Yeah. Um, the CEO of Allergen, <laughs> Brenton Sounders. Okay. Oh, we don't have anybody like directors or anything that's invented something in our, from our school? No. Damn, we idiots though. <laughs> We're fucking so The <laughs> author of The Devil Wears Prada. Lauren Weisberg. What is in your water out there? <laughs> the sea, they're they're the just current, breeding celebrities and, you're and from famous like small like successful town Pennsylvania. people. Yeah. Yeah. The current CEO of Boeing. Whoa. David Whoa. Young, That's big. People played for the Giants, uh, San Antonio Spurs. Damn, all we got is athletes. I think that's like that for a lot of people. My roommate in college, though, went to high school with Post Malone. And oh, Post, Malone wow. was, Post Malone was blowing up while we were in college. And he's like, Jesus, Austin Post, this kid from my <laughs> high school is like blowing up on the internet right now. And originally he like really didn't want to like him because Post Malone, I think, was talking to this girl that like he was also kind of dating. Uh. So he really hated him. It was like, I hate this music. And it was White Iverson. And I, I listened to it and was like, this is a pretty it's a bop. good, this is a good song. It's I think this kid's pretty talented, but it's wild for him witnessing how big. Post I wish Malone I knew got. him in high school. Like, he, I think he was think really about, funny. He probably was awesome. Like, I don't know. He just seems like yeah. he has that personality where he was just down for everything. Uh -huh. Just super fun. Like, yeah. the jokester in school. But, like, it was also cool. I don't really know how he is in person. Like, I, I he's just tell. He's just so happy. Like, he just seems yeah. so... Nobody's like Post Malone. And I no. think that's why right. he is this Very just uh, incredible person. Damn. Very good. Do you guys remember, like, the first famous person you ever, like met or saw <laughs> i i do really do yeah well I, there's two 
So the first person I met that was a celebrity because I used to work at the I used to be at the airport. Oh my god! I, oh, I, I, know, cool. it I know who it is. There'd be a few people like in the airport. I've seen um, Paul was it Paul, Paul Giamatti? Paula Abdul. Wow, Paul Paula Abdul. Paul Giamatti. I think is his name Paul Giamatti. The one in Paul, Paul John Liar. Yes, yes. Paul yeah, Giamatti. I saw him. I saw Snooky. That was crazy because oh, cool. she was in her big fat like big fat like bejeweled That's glasses. So funny. She was just seeing that was like whoa, like just walking That's by. So funny. I saw one of the guys from Backstreet Boys there. Really? While I was working, so d- d- it's crazy. Did you know. It's crazy just because I, I remember holding my sign and I turn around and everybody's like crowding him, like taking pictures. And I was just like, "Oh, that's so crazy!" By the way, the, the that the one that was there was the one that got pissed at us. <gasps> oh, really? So Kevin? Just, uh, yeah, Kevin. What if you knew back then, like it, that? That oh my is god! Is it crazy? Huh? Full circle. Yeah. Full, full so circle. Weird. That that's so like imagine imagine he like imagine he took one look, like one look at me really quickly at the airport and the next time he saw me was on the stage. He remembered you like yeah. it's crazy how the world works like how like that happened it's really crazy especially to see them like multiple times like, yeah and then the first person that we met so the celebrity wise out here was andy dick remember that night yeah it was I th- it was like one of the first nights we went out and then we bumped into him and we're like oh shit that's andy dick and he kept on like talking to us do you oh, remember we- his show the assistant where he no. pe- it, people were it was like the apprentice but people were odd uh, uh trying out to be andy dick's as- assistant oh that's funny oh it was so funny and he would make every when he would eliminate people he would do a different reality show parody for eliminating them and he did one that was like survivor <laughs> and he was like, before he's like before i extinguish your torch i must extinguish you and he just puts the, the, the snuff on top of this girl's head but this girl like clearly had like some like type of gel or mousse on her head then when he went to extinguish the torch it caught on fire oh and it set God. the whole that's like backyard funny. on fire fuck that's oh, funny that was so funny the first time i ever saw some Celebrity was when I told you about when I did the Rock of Ages movie. Yes. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, so it that. was Russell Brand, Paul Giamatti. Yeah, nicest dude in the world. Literally, oh, maybe he was there when I was working. That's for funny. Rock of Ages, probably. Oh, interesting. That's, because oh, he doesn't. Cool. Li- he obviously doesn't live there. No. Aww. Oh, that's so. That's cool. really cool. But yeah, um, but yeah was, I should have touched him, and then you touched him. Like, like, <laughs> like, this is energy. It's this so is so energy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was so that, funny. and then there was like Tom Cruise. There was. I can't believe how much he got paid on set. Being a, uh, a little a bonus extra. How much? It was like I, can, it was I think like, it was like two hundred dollars a day. It was like it was like close to like two hundred bucks a day just for being. Oh, Dude, wow. that's insane. It's a job. Yeah. So I would have hopped into acting as soon as I saw that money. I was like, I want to be a bonus extra in every <laughs> movie out. <laughs> Dude, it was so cool. But like, yeah, seeing seeing them in person was mind blowing because you're like <laughs> Zayd, remember we were like, let's be in season two of Euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> we really just thought be, we were gonna be on make... the carousel. Like, Did you we're... have a choice, like an option? Zayd and I were watching Euphoria last year, and we both looked at each other and we're like, we have to get in this show just one let's scene. be in the carnival scene let's be on the carousel just put us in <laughs> one shot of it so there's so a shot funny. when, the, when they're, like one of the girls on the show she was like just a dry humping the one of the car- like one of the things on the carousel and I just wanted me, me and Matt to be like the ones next so it just like <laughs> <laughs> when I got to LA, uh, when I went on a road trip when I was in college with my brother, and uh, we met up with one of this girl who went to high school with me, and we were at La Pubella, I think that's the name of it, and Justin Long was there, and he was sitting at the table. I around, love and I oh. whipped out my phone and like tried to take a picture of him, and he looked right at me, like no. in, or looked right into the camera. Shit. <laughs> and, yeah. That's so embarrassing. That was the most embarrassing thing. Ha- have I told you about the time where I met? Um, this was at the Critics Choice Awards when I asked. Um, oh my God, I, I forgot her name. Sarah. Uh... Yeah, Sarah. Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman. Sorry, it was Sarah Silverman, and I, Matt. This was so fucking embarrassing. This was probably one of the most embarrassing moments with a celebrity. I uh, because we're all like the award show just finished and we're all like you know how people just kind of like chit chat like for like. 15 minutes after the show's done, they all get out of their seats and they start like meeting right. up. So I remember we we're at the one side of the thing and she was on the other side and she was talking to like six grown old men, like older men, just like they looked, it looked very, like, looked important. It looked very important. And right. All of a sudden I go, I see her. I'm just like, like this, but the way I did it, I must have, um, 
confused her where it's like, hey, like I know you, like hey, let's right. have a conversation. And she stops the conversation with all these guys and goes, yeah, yeah, yeah one second. And so the conversation's done, and she walks towards me. I'm just like, oh my god, I just, I just what ruined did you it. Say? I, I didn't say anything. She walks up to me and I go, can you get in this picture with me? It was so, it was. Oh my so, God. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. <laughs> it was, it was, School oh rock. My God. And I remember she was like, she was smiling in my picture, but I remember her face as soon as I took that picture. Damn. I remember that face for the rest of my life. She like was so annoyed and she wasn't annoyed because like she took a picture with like, you know, she somebody. just thought it was something important that you called her over right. for. Yeah, to get out of her conversation. It was it was bad, but we, he that job we were so excited about. And remember, it was the, exciting. And remember the original job that we had for that was you were supposed to you were supposed to interview all of Breaking Bad cast, and I was supposed to interview Game of Thrones yes. cast. And I remember I was so fucking nervous because I was like, what the fuck? I'm going to fuck up. Like, it's my favorite people of all time that I'm about to interview. This was when, like, we first moved out here. Yeah. We were not, like, experienced for a job like that. Like, w- like seeing Liza interview all those people for Vogue. I don't know how, I don't know how right, she does though. it. Like, she yeah, kills it. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's so fucking, like, just good at it. Like, you... Knowing Liza, she's definitely nervous doing it, but she's able to completely pull fucking it off. hide it. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But me? <laughs> <laughs> if you're nervous. Like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> At that event, though, I remember. So this was like in my like one of my first like celebrity experiences too. Um, I forget her name, but she was from The Walking Dead. You know the older lady who had like gray With the short shade. hair. Yes, yeah. yes. She bummed a cigarette off me. <gasps> she cool. asked me for a cigarette, and I remember just being like. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, take two. And Walking Dead was your favorite show at the time, too. Oh my God, I was freaking out. Take two. I gave a cigarette to Childish Gambino's manager. Oh, uh, close. No, close. no. Gambino's but listen to this. Sister's <laughs> uncle's cousin. Uh, baby, it, no, it's not no. As close as us. But listen to this. So I was at Childish Gambino's show. Uh, he asked me for a cigarette, and he was loading up the the trailer, or whatever, with all the speakers. This is 2010. Okay, like Childish Gambino is just like a rapper. And my friend got picked to go on the bus because she was kind of like flirting with Childish Gambino. And I said, hey, my friend's actually on the bus. And he was like, wait, is that, I know what girl you're talking about. I'm like, yeah, I actually came with her. And he was like, okay. Uh, I just want to make sure she gets home uh, safely. And we're like smoking a cigarette. And then he like goes on the bus and then like talks to like the crew and then comes down and goes, all right, you can come on the bus, but just don't go up and talk to Donald. Like, just let him be. If he wants to talk to you, he'll want to talk to you. So I go on the bus, and like 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one is playing. Donald Glover's there, and we're like That's all partying. So cool. Oh my god! Yeah, and, That's pretty cool. and it was the craziest night. And then uh, we decided to. Uh, Donald was like, "Let's go to a bar. Let's go to something." We go down like all down Sixth Street, like bar hop with him. And then he like starts drinking and he starts jumping over like trash cans, like goofing around. And then he jumps over a parking meter and falls and hits his head. Oh shit! So we're oh like, my "Holy God. shit! We just killed Donald Glover! Like this is terrible!" And then they like his crew like picks him up, take him on the bus, and then we get on there. And he's like just like chilling, but like they worried if he has like a concussion. And so we're like trying to keep him conscious. And so I'm sitting there with like Donald Glover, this girl that I went with, and like the entire band. And we're like smoking a joint and stuff, like hanging out and chilling with them. And then the and then a year and a half later, he comes out with his camp tour. And I decided to hang around the stage just to see if I could run into the manager guy again. And sure enough, like the, one of the guys is like winding up chords and he goes, Hey, I remember you. Oh my You're the kid from that last goodness. time we were in Austin. Oh, this was Matt. This was Matt. And All right. you raised me up. <laughs> and he comes down, gives me a backstage pass, and I got to hang out backstage at Donald Glover's show. And Danny Brown was there, and I was like taking like chugs of Jack Daniels with him and shit. Matt. Yeah. Oh, he a bad boy. Um, pretty, pretty cool, pretty crazy. But all because of just. Uh, that one guy asking for a cigarette, and I weaseled myself onto that bus. I just can't believe Matt was name dropping. That's so weird. <laughs> yeah, you, you dropped a couple over here. What else is it? <laughs> they fell out your pocket. <laughs> As we're all talking about our experiences, <laughs> he just had a better one than us. We we're just like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. all right. I don't think he would recognize you now, though. Mariah, what about you, Jersey Shore? 
or <laughs> when I would go to the shore, they'd be like filming. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. I really think that we should all go to the Jersey Stay Shore the house, house for like a week. That'd yeah, be so fun. I it out. My sister stayed there for Sweet Sixteen. I think I told you guys that. There was a sweet. They rented it out for like the Sweet Sixteen party. My mom was that's, like, "You're not going. You're not going." And then she ended up going. Do you think David would be able to make a fun vlog out of that? Like, yeah, we could definitely think, do I like scenes, like if, funny scenes. If David could get them and us in that, oh my I, god! That's what I was telling. I don't know who was talking to me, but I was saying that like, I wish, I, I wish what we were like, what we were doing was kind of like at the, the same, same time. time. Because it would have happened. Like, it yeah. would have 100% happened. David would have reached out, and they would have been down. But it, 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 It'd be like Vlog Squad and Hype House collab. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and But, like, oh, my God, that would have just been so cool because we would have been around the same age as them. Right. I was you know? saying that about the Playboy Mansion. Like, the Playboy Mansion is non-existent anymore, or right. someone else owns it. It's not right. what it used to be. But if everything was happening now... We could have gone to just a party at the Playboy Mansion, right. you know? Right. Yeah, I never thought about I've, that. I've always oh, wanted but that's to never going to happen. You can never say that you've been to the Playboy Mansion because they don't own so it it's anymore. Not, it's not a thing anymore? No, no, maybe you could rent it out. I think that would be fun if, to rent out the Playboy Mansion for like a video shoot or something. I don't know. I feel after how long we've been here, shit like that doesn't excite us anymore. Like, but, if we're, <sighs> it, like right now, if you're invited to the Playboy Mansion, Hugh Hefner's not here anymore. I just don't think it like... It's a the bucket list thing. You, you, but just to stand there and say, like, it's I like know. Mariah it's and I like, when we went to this the playground near ET. We were we like, were we have dying. to touch it. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. Just yeah, I mean, no, that's cute. That's cute. But like, <laughs> I, I just, I just feel like the Playboy Mansion isn't what it's not. It's not it anymore. I, I, I guess the, it's like saying the Jersey Shore house is like not what it is because they're not there. It's just. I guess so. Yeah, yeah I guess so. It's just an iconic. It's, yeah, place. It's iconic. right. It's history. I've <laughs> always wanted to take my mom there because my mom is obsessed with the Playboy Girls and the oh, Playboy really? Mansion. Oh, really? That's yeah. crazy. I know, my mom, like, your mom? So you yeah, said my, that the other day. And I was like, my mom, really? my mom loved, like, my mom loved, like, Holly and um, Heidi and, and Bridget. all of them. And Bridget, yeah. She, all she wanted to do when she, I was out there when I first moved out there, she was like, honey, all I want to do is be able to go to the Playboy Mansion and meet the girls. I was <gasps> that's like, really? So crazy. That's so yeah. cool. That's crazy that he was dating three women. At the yeah, time. Matt was saying, like, if that ha was happening now yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it would, would be completely different like people would not like it'd be a problem it was, yeah. a, it was a different time it was a different, was a different time. time i remember they took like a bunch of a big a vine group there to do i remember vines. seeing curtis the poor go there and being like gosh if only we were as big as him like i remember being like shit we that could have been us yeah <laughs> i still would appreciate it though if i went yeah it'd be cool mm -hmm. i was never i was never really into that my mom was not me so that's why i'm like you can make a tiktok there <laughs> Ladies, it's, it's like a Dane Bulzerian vine. Yeah. Ladies, I'm surprised he didn't up. take that place over. Can you? That imagine? seems like so up his alley. Would have been. Yeah, Dane Bulzerian is like the modern. He's the playboy. Yeah. He's the modern yeah. like playboy of right. that 100%. kind of title. But do you, you see these pictures of Dane Bulzerian like in a bed with like six, ten women? Do you ever think? He just is like, get the fuck out. Like, I can't. <laughs> For he, a second. Give he's me 10 minutes. smoking a joint with these hot models. <laughs> and he has to be like, I, just leave. Have you guys seen that thing going around right now? It's called, like, Rando Knot. Rando yes. Nodding. What's that? Rando that? nodding. You haven't okay, seen TikTok. So it's kind of no. like a geocaching, but way more extreme. What's geocaching? They, I still don't know where you're talking it's about. It's this app that gives you this <laughs> random GPS location. But and, based specifically on, like, you. Is it based on you? I think that's a load of uh, crap. A lot of people are saying it's, it's like, oddly targeted for them specifically. Baby language, what is this? It's this app that randomizes a GPS location that when you go to, it apparently, this spot has a... A uh, large sense of energy, so you go there and you might find an abandoned car in the woods, Ooh. or right. there's somebody who's looking for their dog, and you end up finding their dog. Weird things happen Just in something these random strange. specific things. Uh, they dropped this weird pin. The guy showed up, and it was this abandoned car, and he's like looking at like why the fuck would it take him to a, an abandoned car in the middle of the woods? Okay. There was one. The body? I saw the body. These kids go rando nodding, and it takes them Dude. to this pier on a beach. And they Hold find on. Wait, wait. No, I don't think that was rando nodding. I think they just found it on the... It was no, rando nodding. No, they were rando nodding and found a suitcase on the beach, and they said it smelt really bad, and they opened it up, and they decided to call the cops, and apparently there was a body in it. 
I'm calling it. I'm kind of calling bullshit. It's, it's definitely on the whole TikTok. It's definitely interesting because I mean, it it seems very hard to believe. How do I? Can I do this right now? This and, second, I'm and the next thing that you know, too they, good to be true. He pulls up. Right. No, they took a clip of just a whole bunch of police, and then also took a screenshot of an article about a body found, but it wasn't found because of random. I'm gonna I'm gonna download it right now. Let's go Wait, do one tonight. Wait, it's an app. Maybe it is true about these kids finding the body parts. There's an article. Nodding. Huh. I don't know. I'm very cynical when it comes to a TikTok that is too convenient. There are a lot of people who stage some right. stuff on that app. Yeah. I just feel like there's a 5% chance that... Or some not shit could go bad. Not even 5 I say less. 1% chance that you find something interesting. Because three stars on an app like that is pretty low. I did it twice and it gave me the same exact spot. So I don't know what that is. We okay. got to go there. Let's do it. Let's See go, what's let's up. Do them. I love adventures. We finna close this bitch out. But guys, thank you so much for listening and tuning in again. We love you guys and we really appreciate it. Heath and I have new Mercer we're about to release. Uh -huh. I, th I think next week or something. I don't know. Heath and I never get our shit together. So who fucking knows? It could be next year. But it's always coming soon. <laughs> exactly. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. You can listen to our podcast, the audio forum version on podcast on the podcast app spotify all that good stuff and then the video form on youtube.com slash zane and he mm -hmm. and check out hoot and a half while you're at it <laughs> and cut that out <laughs> <laughs> and yeah you want to you want to close that out you want to say something anything positive um to <laughs> wish us luck on our random knot <laughs> this is our last episode oh my god please don't even <laughs> my heart's racing um yeah yeah we love you guys and we appreciate you guys as always for tuning in and we will see you on the video tomorrow and then also next week all right, guys, bye. say bye. Matt Mariah, say bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.